Hey guys, I'm a little early. I just couldn't resist logging on right now because I don't know how long Fauna's going to be, but she just kind of like knocked and I didn't respond because I was going to let y'all see and then she just walked in. So let me get this shared really quick. I know I'm a little bit So early. let me get this shared really quick. Um, and I told you everybody's seven, but, um, I, I was so excited that Fauna walked into my house. Okay. She just kind of walked around and checked the house out and then she's like, should I ask her to stick around? I mean, I don't, I don't really mind. I guess bye. She's so adorable. Hi, Julie. I'm getting this shared in our groups really fast. And everything I shared in. Hi, Julie. Hello, Julie. All my devices share um, things differently, so I have to remember every time I switch a device. First of all, since y'all are here, what do y'all think about the update so far? So far of what you've experienced and possibly seen on the internet. I'll be back to reading the comments in just a second, so I'll see your responses. Okay. I got one more place to share. Come on, iPad. Okay, back to the live so I can see comments. Come on, quit being so slow. I think it's amazing. Hi, Declan. Hi. Declan's coming to say hi. It's my hoverboard. <laughs> they can't see you on your hoverboard. I know. Say hi. Hi. And bounce because we have a lot to cover tonight. You guys, check out this cauldron I found today. Watch Ooh, this. That's great. Poof. <laughs> hey, you farted in there. That's not nice to say, Declan. Um, you can now put your extra DIYs in storage. Boom. Okay, I just want to come say hi. Bye. Okay, bye, Declan. Shut bye. the door, please. Bye, people of the future. <laughs> yes, look at that cute little poof. Okay, and this comes in multiple different colors, and I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. But this one was my favorite that I'm keeping for me. Uh, let's let's go explore some items, and we're going to talk about the things that you can do now and how to unlock all these nice new features. I'm going to pick up some tools so we can go do some captain tours or captain. I feel weird saying it, so I keep saying it like I feel weird saying captain. Captain? Is it captain? I feel like that shows my accent a little stronger than I prefer. Captain? Okay, I gotta pick up my mushroom wand and a slingshot and some hula. Okay, that should be enough for. I I need actually need just a little bit more. I'll I'll be back before I need it. Okay, so the first thing that you should do if your island is three stars, if your island's not three stars, the first thing you should do is get your island to three stars. Okay. Hi. 
Tiana, Tiana, I don't want to say your name wrong. I'm sorry. Tiana? Tana? Um, th you should check your Able Sisters and your Nook's, Nook's Cranny every day because there's some new stuff just randomly appearing. Um, but the first thing you should do before you go on a captain's boat tour is go into the museum. And I already did this yesterday. Tiana. Tiana. That's pretty. See, I just... Thank you. I've seen Tiana spelled multiple different ways, so I appreciate that. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is talk to Blathers. He should have a thought bubble over his head if you've unlocked... Um, all of the areas of the museum, and you have a three-star island, he should have a thought bubble. He's going to tell you that his buddy Brewster, um, he's interested in introducing a coffee shop here, but you have to go find Brewster. Hey, that's awesome. Um, so you have to go find Brewster on Cabin's Island. So that's why I'm telling you to go there before you get on the boat, because I got on the boat first, and I felt... I felt like I missed out. Um, so, you can only do one boat tour a day. You can go into Resident Services, and if you haven't yet, you can enable ordinances with Isabel. So, I'm just going to show you guys some of that. That way, um, that way it kind of gives you the walkthrough. Um, so you're going to go to Review Island Features, okay, and then you're going to say Discuss Ordinances. I don't really want to change it, so I'm just going to leave it that way. There's a night out ordinance that's going to make your shop stay up later and your people stay up later. Um, I'm going to show you some of the new things in the Nook Moths. So before we get too far in, um, so you got your Bell Voucher, Nook Moths Voucher. I haven't done the Island 101, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I already got the chef pack and the pro designer and I think the pro camera. Um, we're definitely going to check out the pro camera tonight. I found this cool jacket last night in Able Sisters. I don't know if it was already in the game, but I've never seen it before. Hi, Leanna. So happy you could join us. I'm showing the stuff in the kiosk first, and then we're going to go on some cabin tours. Um, so you're going to have some new reactions. Um, top four or five hairstyles. Those are brand new. Um, the green bamboo fence DIY is new. You might have a different fence DIY. You know kind of how the Nook Mall kiosk likes to do, yeah? Wooden storage shed. Fire hydrant is new. Comes in about six or seven different colors. Oh, yeah. You can only donate to one Lloyd per day. Um, yes, we will get to Harv's Island. I will show you guys what awaits you there. I don't have them all unlocked yet, but I started unlocking them last night so I could show you what to expect there. So, if you haven't explored the kiosk, you should. If you have Nook Miles, um, all of these items come in an array of colors, but you can customize every single thing that you have that is furniture that I've tried on Harv's Island, okay? So I'm not going to spend too much longer on that. Um, you're also going to want to check your Nook shopping. I've seen people that have found some new things here. Um... White lawnmower, haven't seen that before, but it could have been a thing. I'm not for sure. <laughs> Bandage. Okay. I don't see anything that really stands out to me except for that white lawnmower. 
So yes, when you do go to Harv's, choose wisely about what you open first because you do only get to open one per day. I didn't know that either until I tried it. So in the vendors that are on Harv's Island, when they come to your island, they will have something different than what they had on Harv's Island all week. So say um, this guy had... Um, Tomatoes and potatoes all week last week because I time traveled through the week before. And um, now he has tomatoes and carrots. When he goes back to his island, he should have something different because that's what Kix did yesterday. Uh, these are some things I got to give to you guys. I haven't started the giveaways yet. We've got brand new Dreamy Unicorn toys. Um, I'm going to give away some... Some farm kits that will include one tractor, one windmill, and one of each set of seeds. Um, so you guys stay tuned for that. We're going to give away a stoneware kitchen. This giveaway is live on Trip D Gaming Lounge right now. All you have to do is enter the adorable froggy chairs that everybody has been wanting. I have all the colors and all the color of the lily pad tables. We're getting to the boat tour. Here's the rest of the cauldrons. These are all the colors that come in. Oof. Oof. I love them so much. Of all the new items I've seen today, guys, and I've seen a yacht a lot. Um, I think the cauldrons might be like in my top three. <laughs> and you guys could not imagine the amount of things I've seen today. The farm sounds pretty cool. Yes, um, I'm going to, once we get done doing um, a boat tour and checking out Harv's Island, I'm going to go to go start making a farm. This is the cave. Check out the cave, guys. There's like iridescent moss inside this cave. Um, and there's four different variations of it, I believe. Let's see. Now that I have some space here, let's see if I can put another one up. They take up a lot of space. Okay, so there's the black variation. Okay, I'm going to drop it over here so that it's out of the way. Let's see what else, what other variations we have. I think the one I have sitting out is the basic stone variation. That's the mossy stone. It's not very different from the other one. As it's getting dark, you can really tell. I hope we get a good cap in Island. If we don't, we're going to go to the next day and try again. You're going to want to take your shovel and everything that you take for a Nook Mile tour. There's the light gray. That one's actually a lot different. The inside of it's kind of more blue. Okay, and I honestly think this might be a duplicate of the one that's already sitting out. It is, yeah. So we're going to set that, keep that in my pocket so I don't accidentally um, give somebody two of the same one. Okay, so let's go check out this boat tour, guys. Captain is so cute. Also, I got some of the um, the pastel like plaza items that I started putting out here. Just a few. I've got to redo some of this area, obviously. So this is going to cost a thousand nook miles, and you only get to go one time a day. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. If 
you push A, you can clap while he sings. You cannot speed the boat ride up. Hi, Kiana. How are you tonight? How do you like the update? <laughs> he said you don't get seasick, do you? I do want to give a shout out while we were on the boat to Dina Andrews from Shenanigan 21 Plus because she has worked so hard to help us get the items that we do have to give away and a ton of other items. She is going to have her Treasure Island open right after my stream, so I'll definitely check out her Twitch. I will link her Twitch in the comments um, when we end so that you can hop over there and check out all the brand new items. Alright, so it looks like we've gotten a... Um, fairly basic island with flowers and plants. I believe this is a, a tea olive. I just haven't planted any this season. So let's stick it up and make sure. Yep, orange tea olive. So I'm going to actually put that back because I don't need it. All right, some of these islands are going to be way more interesting than others, just just so y'all know. Um, like I said, we might time travel a day. Cauldron, unicorns, windmill, and tractors, so bad. Um, tell me about it. I'm going to put together some packs. Oh my goodness, there's Brewster, see? Cool. I wanted to find him with you guys, so I haven't played the boat tours. Oh, a gyroid fragment? Um, did I convince him to come? What do y'all think? Do we seem convinced to you? Is he coming to a Juniper? Okay, so dig up stuff that you find on these islands because gyroid fragments... <laughs> can be found only on Cabin's Islands as far as I know. However, there is rumor that they could appear on your island after it rains. It has not rained on my island um, since I updated, so I can't confirm or deny that. I am not bringing a fishing pole. Okay, he said he'll be singing me on my island soon. Look, I'm not leaving without you, Brewster. Okay, so you're going to want to check for DIYs. I don't know if there'll be new DIYs or DIYs that are already in the game. Nobody does. Huh? Narrator, subtitles. Cabin's Island. <laughs> That's funny. Forbidden Altar. Never seen that before. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I haven't looked at my DIY since I got cooking. Okay, so we've got the Stonework Kitchen. I didn't even know I had the DIY for. Must have been in the DIYs from Nook's Cranny and the Forbidden Altar. Interesting. It's 30 stone. I'm wondering if it's interactive. A lot of the new items I've noticed are interactive. Um, these are some of the cooking recipes you're going to get from the Nook's Kiosk and um, Nook's Cranny. Once you get the first, um, something like Be a Chef. 
you got new DIYs for the new materials. Awesome. Um, once you get the Be a Chef from the kiosk, you can get the special DIY cooking recipes from Nook's Cranny. All right, there's nothing else here to see, so we're going to roll out of here. We're going to buzz on down to Harv's Island, and we might do another one of these. Do you have all your booty? Yep. Got it all. That cranny thing is probably because of my accent, just saying. Storms can cancel dinner. Storms make it thinner. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think the boat ride is kind of peaceful. Like if you went on this boat ride when you were really sleepy, you might fall asleep. Hi there, Queen. I just saw a boat. Yep. What's happening here? I was riding on a boat. Ooh, is it new? Mm -hmm. Is that a new farm? Look at him. That turtle, his name's Captain. I like him. He does cool. What's your favorite newest thing? So far? I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I really like the uh, cauldron. Mm. Ooh, is there any. What about the other foods? There's lots of foods. I haven't made any yet because I haven't planted my crops yet. See you later, alligator. This is the famous area on my island where Rihanna got stuck. Also, oh, um, she got stuck. my friend's daughter got stuck over here, too. There's the froggy chairs. Froggy chair. And the lily pads. I'm a froggy chair in a froggy chair. Okay. Goodbye, Declan. Please shut the door. Adios. Please. <laughs> Hi, Holly. <laughs> he did get stuck. Um, actually, like a week or two later, my friend's daughter got stuck there during a stream. <laughs> We tried to get her out. We could not. I fixed it. You can no longer get stuck with the duckies. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> the ducks are no longer blocking that. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. I had a message. I always have to make sure that it is not related to the stream because sometimes my friends will message me if I'm having mic problems that I don't realize I'm having. Oh, by the way, Wilbur got some new funny things to say. Every every time I came to Harv's Island, he said something funny. It makes you feel so much safer. I'm dead. She really said that. Okay, so the first one on the right is going to be kicks. And I think I already came here on this day. Yeah, we're going to buy something else. Um, so the new things, this simple tote bag, you can hold in your hands um, instead of wearing it on your shoulder. This is a new backpack. 
And this is new, the delivery bag, I believe. If it's not new, I've never seen it. So um, I've been getting at least three new things a day in the kicks setup. I don't know. Oh, Leaf is on our island. So when they're on your island, they're going to have a closed thing here. Okay, let's see what's in your pocket. Okay, okay I'm going to show you how Cyrus works. Since this is an extra cave, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to make it the color I want. So basically, anything that I've had brought him. I brought some Nook Mile items earlier. He's customized it all. Okay. Um, I think I want the mossy one. I think it would fit my island, but I also really like that the gray one had blue lights in it. I'm going to do the mossy one, I believe. The Nook Mile items are going to have like a purple symbol on them because you might be able to customize that cave on your own, just saying. Um, okay. Right beside him is Tortimer. He was the last one I've opened up for now. He helps you access your storage. So say you get here and you forgot something that you want Cyrus to, um, you want Cyrus to customize something that you have in your storage, get items from storage. Okay. I'm going to pick something that's a Nook Mile item and show you guys. I've already put some of the new things in my storage. I'm looking, oh, like these green lamps, like I would never use these green. Um, I like white lamps and brown lamps on my island personally. Okay, see how it has like a special, um, it looks like a purple, like, paintbrush kind of, with blue in the middle. And then you can choose your customization of it. I think I'm going to go with the brown. Like, my um, friends list of people popping on today when I've been on has been crazy. Okay. So there's the customization area. Um, this empty spot right here is um, for Sahara, the carpet camel. Um, I'm going to open her next because I hear there's a lot of new things that she has. If you didn't bring enough cash with you, do not worry. There is an ABD machine kiosk thing right outside the entrance to this area. Yay! Okay, now this is very interesting right here. Um, I opened the fortune teller because I had no idea what she was, and I wanted you guys to know. Okay, so you can choose to know about your luck or talk about your friendship. To so talk about your friendship is what I tried last night, and she tells you, like, oh, this character thinks about you all the time and has fond memories of you. Would you like for me to bless your friendship? And I'm guessing this is a way to boost your friendship point so you can get the portraits of your villagers and get them moved in and out faster if that's your goal. If your goal is just to collect their pictures and be their bestest friend, then you have that. Um, let's check out what happens when you say, I'd like to know my luck. <laughs> Please close your eyes. I wish she was a villager. She looks super cool, y'all. I really love her looks. Okay. 
Okay. Interesting enough. So maybe if you plant money trees on that day with the extra bells. So the friendship option is probably the most useful option. The last one that I haven't opened yet up yet is reds. Now, if you talk to her, she'll give you one new hairstyle per day. Um, I already got my new hairstyle today, but I went back to this hairstyle because she gave it to me last night, and it's half up, half down, and it's very like me. I like to wear my beret with my outfit. So, Harriet will give you a new hairstyle one time a day. Um, these islands, these key, these kiosks, booths, whatever you want to call them, they opened around 8 a.m. for me. So they were probably open at 8 because I came in a little after 8. Here is this in case you need extra money. See? You could just withdraw money if you need to. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Okay, this looks like little popsicle wind twirls. I like them. Okay, so that's kind of the rundown of Harv's Island. If you never visit Harv's Island, you need to come here and talk to him before you can open up all of the vendors. You have to come to Harks Island and talk to him, and then when you come back, I don't know if it'll be the next day or if you come back later, you should check your mail and he'll send you a letter. And if the letter's in your mail from Harv about he's got an idea to run past you, then you can come back and start opening up vendors. I would suggest getting leaf first if you want to do farm stuff. Um, if you want to do get new accessories, obviously get kicks. And I would, I would suggest doing the vendors first. Now, Red, he's going to sell art, so that's not um, that exciting. Um, you, you can get art, but you, like I said, I saved that one for last. Um, but the fortune teller is interesting, boosting your friend points with your friends. So yeah, I'm going to put together some packs with some of the new stuffed animals because there's new teddy bears and bunny rabbits as well. So there's going to be a pack with unicorns and bunny rabbits and teddy bears coming out soon. I'm going to wait a little while before I do the giveaway drawing for the froggy chairs so that people have time to see it. But let's do a giveaway for a farm set. I want to show you guys what the tractor looks like. Um, my, my farm area is back there, but it's full of seeds, so we're going to take it over here. It's pretty big, so I'm assuming I need a pretty big area to put it. Let's see if it will fit here. Okay, so there's the tractor. How cool is the tractor? And if you turn it on, it has lights. See? I'm very happy about the frog chair as well. Okay. So, in order to enter for this giveaway, this is only for live viewers right now to get one tractor, one set of each seed, and one windmill. And I'll show you guys what the Nookmaw windmill looks like. I'm going to open up for everyone to guess. Hold on, I want to show you the windmill before everybody starts guessing and I can't pay attention. There it is. Okay, so there's four or five different variations of the windmill. The variation that you get um, is just going to be random, so you can take it and get it customized if you want.
Okay, so there's the windmill. And you're going to get a set of sugarcane, wheat, carrots, tomatoes, and potatoes. So the first person to guess the number I'm thinking between 1 and 50, and it'll be the first one that I see, will get the first farm pack. I'll be doing a few more. So you guys can start guessing one guess at a time. Wait till someone else comments to guess again. And you can go. Has not been guessed yet, so you guys can keep guessing. Just wait till someone else comments before you make your next guess. Hi, Krista. Keep guessing. Hi, Krista, me too. I'm so glad. I haven't seen you on in a while. I hope to see you some more. I uh, see a close guess, a very close guess. I don't want to give it away, but I see one that's very close in the most recent comments. Thirteen, Jody Snyder, you won the first set of farm stuff. Jody Snyder won the first set. I'm going to do some more giveaways for that after the number was 13. Jody Snyder, get in touch with me, send me a PM or I'll send you one after the stream so I can get you your stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do at least three more of those, um, and I'll do one or two more tomorrow night until I run out of tractors. Okay? Yes, you're so close, Julie. That's okay. Don't don't give up hope because I have more where that came from. Okay? Congratulations, Jody. Okay. Do I have anything I need to drop back down? No, let's go plant our gyroids, and then we'll time travel to tomorrow and do another captain tour and see if we find anything interesting. Jody, I don't remember seeing you before. Is this your first time tuning in? I'm going to make a little spot to plant gyroids here for now because I'm not sure where I want them on my island. Um, if you just... Um, Hold on. Thanks for the stars, Rihanna. Um, let's see, Jody. If you tap on my name, you should be able to pull up my profile. Yeah. 
and send me a PM. You can send it to Tripti Design Studio or Beckham Alone. Whichever one comes up for you. Okay, I assumed it would look like I planted something and not like I buried something there. All right, trusty elephant watering can that protects my goods over there. Another use for watering cans because we don't water flowers on juniper anymore. <laughs> okay. Stars. Okay, stars, from what I understand, are how you can earn on streaming on Facebook. They'll add up my stars at the end of the quarter or the month, depending on how many I get, and I will start getting a little bit monetized, and that will help me get things like a um, better laptop or a real streaming chair. Look how these smoke when you water them. I'm just going to keep watering them. So these, these stars are kind of like a donation. So yeah, they're like smoking when I water them. I'm just gonna water the heck out of them until they quit smoking, maybe, because they're they're slowing down. That's very interesting. Okay, Jody. Hey, girl. Um, it's fine. I will send you a message after the stream's done. And uh, don't worry about it. Just make sure you check your uh, message requests because if we're not friends, it'll show up under message requests. And I'll just shoot you a message. It'll be from Becca Malone, and I will hook you up. Okay. Thanks, Rihanna. I actually just unlocked stars by getting 100 followers recently. All right, I, I think I'm done watering those. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with time traveling, I'm going to familiarize you with it. Right now, we're going to save and end. If we find glowing moss on the next Captain Island, I will do two giveaways at once with the tractors. Glowing moss is the coolest thing. Rihanna brought me some earlier because she's so sweet and she was doing captain tours and I wasn't doing them because I was trying to save it for you guys and I wanted to find Brewster with you guys. So, um... She was so sweet to bring me some. I will show it to you when we get back on. Okay, so to time travel. So I went backwards last night so I could come forwards to closer to the actual time. That's how I prefer to do it. Um, so I'm going to go forward one day. Okay, make sure you closed out your game by pushing X on it, hitting close. I don't have a primary switch set up on this switch, and I don't know why, but that's why it says that every time I try to play. There you go. You got energy. Thank you so much, Rihanna. Wait till I show you the fairy forest I put it in. Oh, yeah, you need to be three stars, Robin. What does Isabel say that you need? We can help you get it. Okay. Make sure you check Tripti Gaming Lounge tonight. I do have some giveaways going on in there. One for every color cauldron. I have the froggy chairs in there if you want to enter that giveaway. You need flowers. Okay, Robin. We get you some flowers. I gave some of my flowers away, but I'm about to have to get rid of more. Be cool with blue and purples. Okay, so I just did Island Life 101, and you're going to get new tips every day 
Apparently, it's in load screens, which is kind of cool. Brianna can help you with flowers as well. Hi. I signed this. Okay, Declan. Bye bye. That's all I'm going to do. Bye. Okay, so Isabel now announces your special visitors. She's going to announce, um, so far she has announced uh, LaBelle, um, Leaf, Celeste, she announced CJ. It's okay. Okay, so we're going to put the mini farm back here, and as you see, these are seed starts that are for you guys. There's one of each for myself. I do not need this many. I did plant some sugar cane that Rihanna also helped me get, and some wheat up here. Let's see how it's doing. The sugar cane's growing a little bit. It kind of looks like baby bamboo stalks, and the wheat still just kind of looks like a weed, but um, I'm sure it'll get bigger. I think that creatively, I'm going to use the wheat in more like a field. You haven't had LaBelle. Tiana also has flowers. We got you on flowers, girl. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get rid of some of these blue flowers in here because I don't think I'm going to have room for them. Let's check on our gyroids. Nothing happened yet. They're not steaming anymore. It would be nice if I could aim the watering can. Don't see steam coming out of them now. Do you dig them up or do they grow? Does anybody know? Should I dig it back up? I think they're supposed to grow, so I'm going to leave them. But nothing's happening now when I water them. Oh, you believe you have to dig them up? Well, let's try. We'll dig one up and see what happens. It is! It's a full gyroid! A crumploid. Let's see what he looks like. Okay, he kind of looks like garbage. Like literal garbage. A laseroid. That sounds cooler. Ooh, I like that one. It's cute. The ones in here. Bye. I like the laseroid. It's cute. The crumploid looks like a broken tin can. That's fine. Okay. He, he kind of looks like <laughs> Yep, that's, that's how it happens. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go find another one. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys what I got for Dizzy. So Dizzy has a play yard on Juniper, and previously there was tons of elephant slides, but check this out. This is the plaza train that you can get from your Nook Mile tickets, or Nook Miles, not tickets. And um, it moves. And here's the balloons. Um, you can see the dreamy bunnies. They're kind of placed in this area. There's the dreamy teddy bear. And there's a piggy bank. These are all like, not all the stuff in this area is new. I'm showing you the new stuff. There's another teddy bear. Some of the teddy bears have patches on their tummy, some don't. The, I don't think any of the bunnies have the patch. 
and that's the uh, plaza clock. Which, on the hour, a little guy comes out and starts banging on a drum. This is the plaza merry-go-round. Okay, I can't... Hold on. I can't get there from going the left side. I'm going to have to rearrange that whole beach. Let's go on another boat tour. Yes, the pink stuff is so cute. Honestly, a lot of the colors are cute. Um, the color that I got in my kiosk was green and gold, and I'm not that happy with it. The new stuff. Me too. There's so much stuff. There's more stuff than you guys could even imagine. Um, I think that I've seen it all, and then I see more stuff. They really outdid themselves with this update. It has been so fun to discover. And every day you're going to discover more. The clothes. Um, I discovered like several new outfits yesterday. I donated them for a catalog island, so I don't have them all, but they're in my catalog. Believe it or not, back in the day, I used to be lean and mean, he said. Life is a trip full of discovery, and it's raining, and it's dark, so we might find something new here. I'm hopeful. <laughs> Okay, same flowers. This is the same island that I found last night, except it had roses and oranges. Check the message. Iron garden table. We know this DIY. What somebody needs it, I'll probably just drop it here. Don't mind giving it to someone in need, but I'm tired of stockpiling stuff on Juniper. I try to keep it stockpiled on Tripti for everyone. I'm going to look for the gyroid here because I didn't see one when I landed on this island last night, but that doesn't mean there wasn't one. It is not that way. Can we jump across? Yep. Oh, there it is. It's over by the rock. Either one island you need a vaulting pole for. No? Oh, there's two. Maybe they're both gyroids. Maybe there's something else. I heard hitting rocks on these. Oh, that one's steaming. So the rain in the water is what grows then. Ooh, a full one. A boomoy. Let's see what it does. Can we place it here? Nope. We'll have to see when we get home. Alright, I, I really stink at, at hitting rocks, guys. So I'm going to try the whole thing. But just know, this is why I don't do this, especially on stream. Okay, so nothing really interesting. We got some clay, some stone. Yes, the new update uses lots of nook models. <laughs> he always ended up offended when you asked him to go faster. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Rihanna. Yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, something in the direct that I saw that I haven't tried to experiment with yet is dusting. You should be able to buy a duster from Nook's Cranny, which I haven't seen yet, but we'll check that out when we get back. 
And when you dust items, they will have new. They'll have like new animations. They'll either glisten or other stuff. Okay, so we've got iron. We've got a lot of iron from that rock. I don't really need materials. I keep my materials pretty stocked, but I'll pick up the iron and gold. Oh, look at there. Maybe we'll pick up the clay just in case. No? Nope. Okay. Let's see what idea we have. A king type mask. <laughs> oh, look. It tells you how many you have in your pocket for it. Like, there's a little bar at the bottom now instead of just the number. I'm like a visible cue. Um, okay, so that's all for this island. I feel like we explored it well. We'll check this other rock. I heard that some interesting things have been popping out of them, not just um, your average stuff. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we didn't find any glowies. Should we hit that other rock back there just in case there's something interesting in it? Scare the snail away. I'm gonna use these shrubs so I don't bounce. And I still bounced. I really like that the controllers I'm using currently do not vibrate when I hit rocks because it really bothers me. Okay. Nope. Yeah, you see the duster at Tom Nooks? Okay. Yes, there are vines that you can plant and climb up cliffs, and that that's really right up my alley. <clears throat> Resituate here. I've seen that people have found some interesting things on the islands. Somebody told me, but I don't, I don't know because I obviously haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I'm not sure. Um, how true it is. It's something that I saw in a comment on Facebook earlier <laughs> and said that a star fragment popped out of a rock on one of these islands, which is interesting. That's why I wanted to hit all the rocks in case there was something interesting. Okay, got it. I mean, I'm not going to jump in the water. Out in the unknown waters. Silly goose. I have a feeling that I'm going to like this guy. I like the ones that say funny stuff. I think I'm going to give him a real country accent when I talk for one, two. Because he says some real country things. The Island Life 101 is tips that are going to show up on the loading screens. And it could be tips for new content. It could be stuff for any content, really. Okay, so let's check Able Sisters and see if there's anything new here today. Rare fish and bugs can be found. They said star fragments fell out of trees, too. Last night, the one that I did, I shook every tree on the island, and I didn't get any items or um, bees. I only got twigs. Um, so I just kind of assumed the trees didn't have anything, but they could. Okay, what do we have here that might be new?
I think I've seen the flashy jacket before. Staff uniform with a name tag. I don't buy a lot of clothes. I mostly buy accessories. So if you see something new, these Plumeria ha hairpins look new. We'll buy them. New. The food face. These look new. You can't see them because I'm wearing pants. Okay, so I think the two things that are new here today are the leggings and the hairpin, which is super cute. Okay, we need the yellow one. They did not have the feature to where you can buy all of the things. Only buy one at a time of the same item still. Unfortunately, that was a plea that they did not hear. Okay. I don't plan to fish or catch any rare bugs while we're um, checking out Catman Islands today, but I think that's really cool. Um, this is not where I meant to go, sorry. Okay, I'm hoping that Freya or Renee asks to leave soon because I really want Sasha and those are the only two that I am willing to get rid of. Have I tried group stretching? No, is it awesome? I'll try it. Look at that. Is that a headboard? Oh, I like it. We're going to buy it. And here's a new food item. Fried rice. I'm always so happy to have fried rice. We're going to buy a couple of those. Funny is awesome. I heard it's kind of interactive. Yeah, I don't have the duster yet, and it could be because I'm still in October. It's not in mine. Unless y'all are seeing something I'm not. Okay, I heard there was some new wallpapers. Old wallpaper, black brick wall. Those both look kind of new. Orange retro, dark wood. Okay, so I'm going to go... Can't get the food items either. You have to buy a certain amount from the twins to upgrade Nook's Cranny, and then um, you have to have the Nook's Cranny store for a month from the day that it moved in. Oh, let's check out the gyroid. A boomer gyroid. A boomoid. Okay, it's very, um, interesting. I think they only make noise inside your house, unless it's making noise I can't hear. Uh, 
I do want to check out Harv's Island before I time travel again. See what um, Sahara has. What did I do? I met a gyroid. And I sailed on three adventures. How's it going? Okay, let's go see what Harv's doing one last time. Have I bought the DLC? Yes, I bought the DLC. I'm not sure when we're going to get it because 10 a.m. in Japan is either 7.55 or 8.55 here. So we might be streaming when it comes on. Okay, let's see about Sahara. Every time you get a new shop, when they come in, you're going to have this moment with them and Harv. <laughs> Which is also far. <laughs> Okay, so you can pick now. Um, red locker room wall, ruins wall, gym flooring, train station flooring, the mush rug, light brown cow print rug, a welcome mat, and a dark stone rug. That's right up my alley. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be at 10 a.m. Japan time. Unless you just found that out. Oh, check it out and see if we can do it. I did pre-order it. However, um, the dodo didn't give me an option to go to work. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh, there's... Man, Togamer looks kind of creepy from the front, y'all. Is he wearing a mask? No, he's just that creepy. Okay. Let's see what Leaf has different than what he had on my island. Uh, I'm not sure. I just know in the past I've gotten the update at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time when it updated at 10 a.m. in Japan. So I can't for sure say... Leaf offers a weeding service. Okay, it's 20 minutes until midnight Japan time. I 
don't need to know about pumpkins every time I talk to you, man. All right, so now on my island earlier, he had carrots and tomatoes, and now he has potatoes and sugar canes, which you can also buy in bulks of five. We don't need any of those right now. It no longer says pre-order in the store. That, that gives me thoughts. Um, I'm going to show you guys what Harriet does. I'll give it a try. Okay, so this is kind of rough looking. I never had a haircut that rough. Okay. What's that movie where he says, I am the master of disguise? Not my style. So I'm going to say, oh no. You'll still learn the hairstyle. And she'll give you her old hairstyle back. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> so you learn the hairstyle anyways. <laughs> she, she definitely used a bowl on that fast hair cutting. Let's see what new thing Kix has. He shouldn't have anything new because it's the same week. But just to be sure. Yep, see, it's the same stuff within the same week. If he comes to my island this week, um, he will have something different when he comes for a visit. Okay. I'll show you guys what happens when you talk to her about your friends. Okay, so I did sell last night because he's my buddy. Let's try Grizzly. He's a grumpy. See what he says. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it was terrible. I, I've had, um, from her, I've had two hairstyles that I really liked. And um, about three or four that I didn't like at all. <laughs> Oh, your acquaintance. So she called Zella a friend. She called Zella a close friend, but she, like me and Zella, are closer than me and Grizzly, and she called Grizzly an acquaintance. So that's the differences that I noticed there. This is like information mining. <laughs> All the new different things. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Oh, 
I'm gonna go get some some dollars and pay for Red's booth while I'm here. Might as well. As. Okay, my iPad is plugged up, but I'm getting the low battery symbol. Dollars going here, so uh, it appears to be plugged up. Can we be friends on the switch? Um, Jody, when I deliver you presents, you're welcome to send me a friend request on the switch. That's the easiest way to add friends, in my opinion. You um, send a friend request to people you've played with. This is free content, Holly. I have not done any paid DLC yet. See, and like the vendors, they seem to be donating. Because I've only had to pay 100,000 bells for one of them. Now, they haven't paid a lot, but, I mean, it's helpful. Okay, when I get back, we're going to do another farm giveaway. That includes a tractor, a windmill, and every seed start for the crops. So I'm going to jump on the plane, and I will tell you guys to start guessing. Okay, Holly, so what you need to do, if you don't have all of the, the free content, is you need to get your island to three stars. If you have never visited Harv's Island, you need to go to his island and speak to him for the first time. I was under the impression you needed to take at least one picture, but someone else told me I was wrong and you just need to speak with him. So if you want to secure that, you could take a picture, but it might work both ways. But you have to go to his island and visit him at least one time. I know that. And talk to him. Um, now, who wants a mini farm giveaway with a tractor, a windmill, and all the seed starts? I'm going to think of a number 1 through 50 again. And you guys can start guessing now. Please wait until somebody else guesses before you guess again. But you can guess as many times until we get the number 1 through 50. And go. Number seven, Robin Wolf, you won the second farm giveaway with number seven. Congratulations, Robin. Robin guessed number seven first. I don't know if you guys have heard it yet. Okay, so if everybody will stop, 
I'll do one more and I'm going to wait for you guys to stop. Can you hear me? Is my mic picking up? Okay. I'm waiting. Robin won that one. Yay. Okay. If everybody else stop guessing, we'll do one more really quick before we start building the mini farm on Juniper. I'm dropping the tractors over here so I know how many we have. Okay, well done, Robin. All right, so we're going to give away one more set. I'm going to do another number. Um, I like 1 through 50 because it gives me a lot more choices. Okay, yeah, it's probably a lag. <laughs> I just wanted to double check. Um, so 1 through 50, and you can start guessing now. Make sure somebody else guesses before you guess again. Keep guessing until I say someone has won. And I'm going to go grab a windmill for Robin while you guys start guessing. Julie Pose, number 17. I think you're the first to guess 17. Yes. No, Rihanna guessed number 17 first. I will give you both a set since I messed that up. And that will be the last two for tonight. Rihanna and Julie posed. Won that one with number 17. I'm waiting for you guys to catch up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab you each a windmill and a tractor and drop it over there. I have one more set to give away. We might give it away tonight. We might wait till tomorrow night. I do have to draw names for the... giveaways on the wall before the stream is over. I'm grabbing tractor for Rihanna. And like I said, you guys are going to get a random tractor. You can customize them with Cyrus. Blair's not leaving, so just ignore her grumpy face. Um, So this is my way of keeping track of what is left for those. So I have one more set. Tomorrow night I'll be doing the toy giveaway, so make sure you tune in tomorrow night for that. It looks like I have two, well, I was going to keep one tractor for me. So we're just going to say one more set because I need to make sure. All right, I'm going to check the comments on the other giveaways and see if we have quite a few people that we can draw from. Trifty Gaming Lounge. I might come in and let Declan decide on the cauldrons. Oh, we have six entries for the cauldrons, and we have six entries for the froggy chairs. So... If you haven't entered in, how will the winners claim the prize? Robin, if you send me a private message during now, or I'll send you one after the stream, and I will get it to you after the stream, or I can get it to you tomorrow if that's too late.
Okay, yeah, yeah, Rihanna. We talk often. You know what to do. So, yeah, if you just send me a message, Robin, or I can send you one after the stream, whatever's easiest for you. Julie, I got you. I, I'll message you after the stream. Okay, so what's I about to do? Okay, I want to show you guys glowy moss. Okay, so I've redone some areas on Juniper, and I think they're better for it. Okay, so we have some glowy moss. In this fairy forest, I don't know if it's going to get bigger, but look, some of them, when you plant them, they're very big like this. And some of them, when you plant them, they're like little things. But like, look, when you run over them, they're like, poofs. A little poof, a glow. So the fairy forest, that was once a bunch of big trees, is now a bunch of baby trees and cliffs, and I like it a lot. I think we did this, we might have done this on stream, the baby cliffs, but it's now fully decorated. I redid this beach over here to where it's actually something. So we've got our little transition area over here with ducks that won't trap you because there's flowers to walk away from them. So, oh, let's see if we got our new DIY. Carrot juice. I'll take it. Okay. Then the fairy forest also exits out over here onto the little girly pink beach beside. Renee's house, which leads to this cute little picnic back here, and my flower storage back there. Okay, I'm going to go pick up the areas in the mini farm, pick up the seed starts in the mini farm area, and then we are going to get started on the little mini farm. I might have went the long way. It happens. Do I have a gyroid that I need to plant? I do. Let's plant it in front of this one and hope it's cute like it. <laughs> If you guys weren't here earlier when we planted the gyroid, we watered it quite a bit and then time traveled to the next day and dug up full-fledged gyroids. And you water it, it steams. I kind of watered it until the steaming slowed down. Okay, just so you guys know, do not worry about your crops. If you did not win the giveaway for those, because we have extras. And I will have them on Tripti for our next Tripti Under the Stars event for anyone. Okay, I want to keep them as organized as possible for my own sanity. Also, food items come in a little silver serving thing like you see in fancy movies.
They look like that when you drop them too. Mary Jane figured that out last night. Dig it up once watered and see if that works. Um, we can try that. Let me finish dropping my carrots. It's still steaming. Should I water it a little more? I mean, this is all an experiment, guys, so I'm happy to learn with you. Still a fragment. So let's let's water it again in case we just disturbed it. I think it does take a day to grow. I think some people were also under the belief that um, it might grow out of the ground like a plant, like I was. I mean, I really wasn't exactly sure. I never played the other games that had it. So... The fact that it looks like a buried item instead of like a planted item kind of gives you a context clue. Okay, sugar cane. Sorry guys, I meant to move this before the stream, but I got started a little early because I was really excited. Tori, honey. Tori. Hush. No. My little dog is, is 15 and she's senile, so excuse her grumpiness. Mom. Can you let Tori out, please? Thank you. Mom. Okay, yeah, um, veggie gyroids. That'll be cool. I haven't seen those yet. Obviously, I've only seen the ones on the stream. However, I did create these. Um, somebody asked if anybody had a flag design for the crops because they didn't have any floor placements left like like design space for floor tile type designs and I will show you guys what I made I need to redo the sugar cane because I accidentally created the wheat on top of it but I wasn't really happy with it so it happens I'm going to need all that space over there, so. Last is the wheat and the potatoes. Just gonna go ahead and grab them. They won't get mixed in my pocket. See if I can drop one of them here. I 
I said they wouldn't get mixed in my pocket, but you guys saw that, right? Okay, and we'll drop potatoes here. Grab some fencing. I want to use the barbed wire fence. But I'm going to take the country fencing just in case. Okay. And I'm not going to have a whole lot of room for decorations on this mini farm, but I definitely want to have some. Oh, look at this cute little item I found in Nooks. A hanging clothing rack. I am going to set up an outdoor kitchen probably on another night. Um. Check out these trees. I got some for you guys. Boabab trees. One with green and one without. There's two different cacti. These new ice cream displays you can open up. Looking for some farm-like things. There's a sign, it has something on it already, but we're going to take it with us. This is how I decorate, guys. And if I don't see it here, I'll just look for it elsewhere. Look at these veggie sandwiches I found in the nook shop as well. They're very cute. It's like a veggie Subway sandwich. There's some of the dreamy teddy bears and the dreamy rabbits. Oh, this, this is what I was looking for. Turkey Day wheat decor. And that might be it for now. I might come back for more, craft some more. Okay, so because of the way this area is set up, I'm going to make my rows this way, I think. If I don't like it, I'm going to make them back and forth. I really didn't want to add any paths on here besides our um, tree design, but I feel like it's necessary. Yes, you can up update your storage to 5,000. Um, I think the last upgrade is 1.2 million. Does anybody have questions about the update so far? Um, Alright, so I'm going to plant tomatoes, potatoes, and carrots here. And I think that's it, because I'm going to do sugar cane and wheat in different places. That's all of them. Okay. So, we're going to decide if the aesthetic looks better going this way or the other way. Okay, and I want to do rows of six, so if you count your squares. Whoops. At six. Okay, now here's the trick that I wanted to tell you guys about. If you alternate dirt paths, you'll have clean rows. They will not touch. I'm 
really don't want that that far that way, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the windmill. I thought about making them slightly uneven, but I don't like that that far into the... There's not much of a walkway anyway, so... It might be cool to... So we've got carrots, tomatoes, and potatoes. So let's go ahead and put the windmill like right in the middle. We're going to take up this flower. And I kind of want to fit a tractor over here, so I'm going to go ahead and push this back. No? I feel like this is too close to the walkway, too. Maybe I should go this way. We'll see. Yes, I heard that the paid DLC is out in Australia. I heard that earlier today. However, I had some friends time travel to that. They basically changed it to Australian time, whichever time zone that is, and it did not work for them. Okay, so we got four, so we're going to go... No, 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 not grass. Two more. I'm not sure I like that, guys. Let's change the direction of the rows. I'm just going to completely erase it um, past the point where I want it. Okay. Actually, I'd rather the front row be the dark dirt because I like it better. So that's three, four, five, six. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. That's only carrots, tomatoes, and potatoes. That's all I want right there. I'll decide after making recipes if six is reasonable for this because I'm not for sure, honestly, um, if six is a reasonable amount. Let's plant these crops and see what we can do as far as decorating the area. Carrots, potatoes, uh, did I not get myself any tomatoes? Tomatoes. There we go. I like the number six. It's one of my favorite numbers. I want to put... Uh, 
potatoes in the back. Nope, that's not a potato. See if it'll plant. Yeah, you don't even have to dig. And I want the tomatoes in the front because they're super cute. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. If anybody has the paid DLC, if anybody has paid for the paid DLC and you're able to access it, definitely let us know. I don't want to keep digging stuff up, so I don't know if it's just fine. Hi, Jenna. It's time to go night night. I need help. Mommy. No. Let's see if I can get one to plant. There we go. Okay, so there's my three rows of crops, and this is a mini farm build. So if you want a bigger farm build, we're going to do a bigger farm build somewhere else on Trip D. However, on Juniper, we're doing the mini farm. Hi, Jonah. Hi, baby. Okay, no, you can't. You can't take my stuff. You're, you're at Daddy's house. Come here. Go see Daddy. Okay. So, I wanted to show you guys these things I created because someone requested, requested flags instead of ground designs. Okay, so the first one would be tomato. Um, this is not okay. Okay, I personally think they're a little bit small and might go with a different idea. However, someone requested flag designs of these and I did create them and I did post them in Trifty Gaming Lounge. And I keep acting like it's an item. I'll show you what they look like up close because it's really hard to see them in the dark. So here's the design. This is what they look like. They all have the same outline, the same burlap type background. They just have a different vegetable and a different... <laughs> Oh, whoops. This is how the flag designs would work here. 
Um, unfortunately, they still take up the whole space, even though they're tiny, and it's going to make it difficult to maneuver. If you like that, then you're welcome to use the designs I created. Um, I'm not going to use those. I would rather go get my tractor, which I wanted y'all to green, but whatever's left over here, I'll grab. And I can put it in the oh, these are some things that I actually got for myself and for the giveaway. Jonah! Here. Okay, go hang out with Daddy, please. I want Mom is to do it. Topiaries, those are for you guys. Frozen drink machine, pergola. Ooh, let's try a pergola over there. I grabbed two that I really liked. Let's see which one goes with the area best. Okay. Let's go grab one of these tractors over here. There's two. One of them is probably the green one that I got for myself. Just gonna try both of them out, see which one I like better. Sorry guys, we have little visitors sometimes, it happens. Okay, let's see if this tractor fits back here. Blue. No, it blends in with the area too much. Red. I'll take red. My grandfather had a red tractor. I like that. Okay. And then fencing. I feel like it's a must for any farm. Okay, you see how I did the broken fencing? So it's gonna add to the aesthetic, but it's not gonna hide what you're designing. Um, also wanted to have, instead of those signs, I thought that these would look cool. All I did- Good night, buddy. Good night, buddy. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. See you at the fun one. Yep. Um, all I did was search carrots in the custom designs under umbrella specification. And I got these cool baskets. I really like the basket idea better than the sign idea because you can actually tell what they are. And carrots are in the middle, they're not in the back. I'm gonna put that there. And then I want to put tomatoes right here. These are not my designs. Some very creative person took an umbrella and made this 3D crate design, and I'm totally impressed with it. Hi, Robin. So, what do you guys think of the mini farm? I think it still needs some stuff. I think in front of the tractor we should put some more crates or baskets, so... Whoops. Not my intention, but that's fine. And I keep treating these crates like they are items, but they are not. They are custom designs. Those kind of look like strawberries, but they're tomatoes. See if we can fit one more of the carrots there and still fit our tractor. If not, then we'll stick with one in the tractor. Very cute. I 
Nope, wrong tractor. Actually, I kind of like it pulled forward some. Let's turn the lights on the tractor on. That's neat. Let's check on our vegetables up here. You can get to this place without a ladder, but that's the quickest way to get here from where we're at. Check out our sugar cane and our wheat and see how it's growing. If it'll let me up there. I've been climbing up in this spot for a week. And now I can't. So this whole kind of back left corner now has a farm aesthetic here. Whoops. This is the honey farm. It's where grizzly and maple live. I'm going to jump across here. We've got wheat and sugarcane. They haven't grown much since we time traveled a couple of days. Let's water them. I try to do two times at least per... I'm sure just like flowers, if your friends water them, they will grow faster or stronger or more plentiful. I'm not for sure, but that's how flowers are. They grow and breed faster when you have friends water them. I'm hoping that the sugar cane kind of looks like mini bamboos because I want to cover this whole area in sugar cane and I'm going to move the wheat once it's matured. Okay. So, and these don't have dirt under them because I don't want them to. I want to see what they look like when they grow without it for the idea that I have. I think our little farm area over there might need some lighting. So I'm thinking that brown light that we made earlier. It's not very much lighting. All right, no, let's put this away. We don't want any more blue flowers to sprout here. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't feel like it adds to our aesthetic at all. So let's check out our DIYs. We could put our outdoor kitchen right there, but then it would hide. Well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Have your stoneware kitchen right before. Okay. So I think the cornucopia is very farm-like, but um, I'm not looking to do a picnic here. Uh, mommy! Hi, Jonah. If you're coming in here, you got to go night-night. Did I pass them? Excuse you. Jonah, please don't climb me. Mommy's busy. 
Okay, this is the kitchen I was thinking for outdoors. Or this one. No, Daddy's not at work. Daddy's out there. You're supposed to be with Daddy. I'm going to put the rest of my starts and stories. Please stop, Jonah. Sorry, guys. He's literally slamming in the back of my head. Please stop, Jonah. Thought I'd try. Oh, oh, mommy. No. Oh, oh, mommy. No, you're not getting mommy's phone. It's about to die. That's why I'm using my iPad. Where's Jonah's iPad? Go get Jonah's iPad. Let's see how this looks here. It's rather big. It's really dark over here. Uh, not right now. Okay. I honestly feel like this is too dark. That one's a little bit lighter. I like the moss on it. It gives it that outdoorsy feel. And we could put a stack of wood beside it. However, it looks like it has wood stacked up underneath it. I like this. Let's grab some other stuff that would go good with it. I'm going to check the comments on the froggy chairs. If we are still at six, I might give everybody till tomorrow to enter that contest and announce the winner at tomorrow's stream. Looks like we're still at six. And the cauldrons are at eight. No, nope, eight comments, six entries. Jonah, can you pick a number one through six? Number one, number two, three, four, five, or six? What number? Don't spit at me. I'm cooperative co-workers. <laughs> it's all right, Rihanna. I get it. It's late for you. Um, I'm just looking for something to add to the stoneware kitchen, and I think we're going to wrap this up probably because I have a tiny intruder that doesn't seem like he's going anywhere. And it's time for him to go to bed. This would be cute beside it, but it might take away from our garden. I think I'm going to try the lighter kitchens and see if I like them better, too. I thought about putting one of those pergolas right off the bridge, but I'm not sure that's going to work out for me. Daddy! Dad! Daddy! I don't want to, I thought about the barrels, but they look like they have poison in them, so I don't think I'm, we're going to do the barrels. Um, no crosswalk signs. The butterflies I have left are really big, so we're not going to do those. Let's see. I'll probably have to craft some more stuff. That's why I don't Babe, pick a number one through six. Bye, poo -poo. Number four on the children's giveaway is Robin. <laughs> That's so cute, Tiana. Um, mine are three years old and eight years old. Oh, the cute, the little pink piggy would be cute out there. 
Please don't jump on me. That's not very nice. Robin, you won the cauldrons off the the giveaways, tips, and trades page. And Jonah has chocolate on him because now I have chocolate all over my arm. Congratulations, you won the rainbow cauldrons. I just asked my husband to pick a number one through six, and he chose number four, which is you. Oh, the honey pot would be cute out here. Please stop jumping on me, Jonah. That's not nice. No. 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 So, Robin, I'll deliver you a farm kit and the rainbow cauldrons. Okay. Let's try one of these lighter kitchens and see if I like it better. Please stop jumping on me, child. Nope, oh, that's the dark kitchen. Please come get your child. I would have announced that one in the group because not everybody in the that commented was on the stream, so I'll definitely announce it on the that white kitchen it really brightens the area. Let's use that one. And then Is, is it morbid because a little kid is in the kitchen? I think I'm going to put him like right here. Like he's sniffing the flowers. I'm glad I saved the pink one. I think that rock's going to have to go. And slow my roll. I don't have even the. Oh, I do. I have fried rice. How cute! And it gives you fried rice, gives you five rock exploding, tree chopping powers. <laughs> Definitely got to keep trimming these flowers down. Give us some room here. I don't want to put too much directly behind my house because no matter where you stand, it's like difficult to see. Whoops, wrong one. Did y'all hear that? I said whoops. The DLC is ready to play, guys! That is so exciting! I really want to finish this area really quick. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You guys, the DLC has landed. 
It is playable right now. We may check it out here in just a second, but I do not know how much of it we'll be able to do. Let's see if this path looks good here. Are you kidding me? There's, there's gotta be a, there's no. Oh, okay. So we can't use the square path because of that. I cannot have that random weird corner. The DLC is ready, guys. Let's put a path on our mini farm and check it out. At least a little bit. I'm going to do the same path I did for Coco's area just behind me. And if we come to find out that it doesn't work here, then we'll work that out. I do my passing kind of in every other one checkerboard pattern when I do these round paths. Yes, we'll have to log off and log back on to play. Don't underestimate how much a path can darken a dark air brighten a dark area. Look how bright this looks now. And it was so dark looking just a minute ago. I don't want to do the big flowers every other one. Let's see what I did over here. Yeah, I did. I did more wood than the big flowers. Okay. We'll do it every other one and see how it looks. I kind of dig it. I really love this flower. I use it all the time. The code is in the Tripty Gaming Lounge albums for path codes. Mm, I think that's a little too much. I stick with that for now. Definitely going to tweak that. Okay. See how much that light path lighten the area up? I think I'm going to use the... Um, I call this... Um, I believe it's called a mushroom design. But I call it cinnamon roll because it looks like a cinnamon roll. Nope, it's called wood. I have another one on Trippy that's called a mushroom. That's similar. I don't know, that corner is bothering me a little bit, so we're just going to fill it in for now. What do you guys think of the mini farm build? We turn this empty space into a mini farm. I still might add a little more lighting here, but I'm really happy with um, how this contoured to this space so well. It's definitely going to look better during the day for some aspects, which I'm happy with. Okay, my pockets are full. Robin, I got blue flowers for you, girl. Told you I'd have more. Let me go drop some flowers, we'll save, and we'll check out that, that DLC. Where did this... Oh, I remember.
Yes, I have weeds planted over here because I like weeds on my island for their aesthetic. They change with the seasons. The flowers do not. I keep some on the beach so that I can come get them when I need them. I don't think you can plant shrubs in the sand, though. But... I can plant it right here, and you're welcome to have this azalea bush as well, Robin, when you come get flowers or when I bring them to you. All right, the pockets are clear enough. Looking for help. Five people with an NS one. Okay, Cassie, if you can't find the boat on the pier, then it's more than likely you don't have a three-star island. Robin, I don't know for sure about the DLC. I know this is a five-star island, so I, if I didn't, if I didn't, um, Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't run into that same issue. Okay, so let's see if there's any kind of, okay. That's from the Island 101 app right there. That's one of the tips. Okay. Okay, Rihanna said we might get a phone call. That did not happen. So let's go check out the airport. I did get the DLC. Cassie, if you're trying to get your island to three stars, the best thing to do is ask Isabel about your island. Nope. Let's go forward today. And it might be too late, so let's turn it to 8 a.m.
I'm going to be so confused when I get on tomorrow morning and it's nighttime on my island. Did my iPad just die? It did. The charger's not working, apparently. It is plugged into the wall. I've checked multiple times. It's working on my phone. Let me get back to the stream. Okay, weird. My electronics are acting goofy. Giveaways on the wall. Okay, that's pretty behind. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> So she's kind of announcing the birds on the beach. <laughs> no phone call. See if we got any special mail. Blair, Leaf, Coco. Ooh. A veggie basket! That is perfect for our farm! Well, we have no full-growing veggies yet, so let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I love it so much. It's the best. Okay. Alright guys, I am not sure that the DLC has dropped here yet. I'm wondering if I need to travel to actually the real time, but everything else has worked fine for me. Hmm. Sky, I mean, Freya, aren't you ready to go explore new places? <laughs> Trying to figure out this DLC for you guys. If not, then that's fine. We'll do, I'll contact everybody about their giveaways. If it's too late for you, that's fine, and I'll get it to you tomorrow. I would prefer if you claim it tomorrow, at least, at the latest. Nope. Hmm. Redownload. Um. Huh. I'm not sure. Let's. We didn't do anything, so we don't have anything to save. Okay. Okay. This is how I found it last time. Mine says pre-order. 
So I'm thinking, Rihanna, it's past midnight on your time, and that's probably why you have access to it. Hi, Jonah. I'm not sure. Rihanna has access to it, but she's in a very different location than I am. I mean, we can go all the way to and see if it works. It's not going to hurt anything. We'll see. If it doesn't, then it's fine. You didn't spoil anything. Okay, we'll see if it works. If not, it's fine. We'll do it tomorrow night. I plan to do it tomorrow night anyways. We'll do another boat tour since we're on a different day. Okay, Jaslyn hasn't gotten it either. Hmm. I like rarely check my mail in the game anymore. Okay, Flip's here. Hi, Diggs. We're trying to get the DLC to work, but I don't think it's going to work here yet. Oh, I did not get a phone call from Tom Nook, so I'm going to assume that we can't do the DLC here until actual midnight my time. That's okay. Diggs, is Dean alive yet? I have a feeling it's a USA thing, Robin, because these other places, it's already past midnight there. Yes, Jaslyn. Um... Rihanna says that when she logged on, she got a phone call from Tong Nook to meet somebody, and that's how you know that it's triggered. Okay, like 30 minutes at the latest. Thanks, Diggs. Okay. So I'm thinking the paid DLC will be at midnight your time. You can't trick your switch into believing otherwise. I'm not sure. So for me, that's three hours from now. We will not still be streaming at midnight my time. But there's so much to do with the free stuff. Um... For sure. And we'll have plenty of stuff to do tomorrow doing the DLC, so it's not anything that I'm going to rush. I definitely want to get you guys your prizes, so... We time traveled quite far. I should have checked on our veggies. We'll check on them when we get back. Yeah, Julia, me too. 
I have to get up early and take the kids to school. I don't have time for that. Okay, so, so far, I don't feel like I've gotten a special island. I've gotten a lot of regular stuff, which is okay. Also, I just hopped longer than I have since I downloaded it. Let's look for a gyroid. This is an interesting landscape on this island, I will say. Oh, it's not hiding behind that cliff. Or the tree. Those oranges kind of look like um, tomatoes to me. JK. Hmm. I'm not seeing a gyroid on this island. Oh, you played Happy Home Designer on 3DS. I have not. I never had, um, an, oh, there it is. I never had an Animal Crossing game before Animal Crossing New Horizons. Nice. So on the island when it was raining, we got two fragments, but it looks like um, it's two might be rare. I really don't know. Yeah, I dug it up. I'm interested in exploring the DLC because there's a lot of items that are on the DLC. <laughs> that we haven't had before, furniture items, and a lot of, I heard lychee berries, I think that's how you say it, or lychee, I think it's lychee, lychees, and perfect apples, I can't say for sure what else is on there, I just remember seeing those, I do know there's like four or five different furniture sets that we've never had on New Horizons, whether it was on um, New Leaf or Happy Home Designer, I don't know. Let's go check on our produce. And then we'll probably get the show on the road for tonight. I plan to go till nine. Originally it's 9.07. We're not like way over. I do miss it being nighttime on my island. Look at those tomatoes. They're so pretty. 
and you can't see the carrots. So I might switch the tomatoes and the carrots so you can see them. And the potatoes. We're going to grab one of each for our basket that we want to make. They're so juicy looking. Ooh, I love the wheat. Yes, I'm going to plant it in areas that aren't necessarily farm related. And the sugar cane is perfect for this area. I'm going to fill that whole area with sugar cane. And we need one orange pumpkin. Instead of going to hunt my storage, we're just going to grab one on the way. No, Dizzy, you're not leaving. Only Renee or Freya. Renee, because I had her on my old island and I loved her and I had her for a really long time. And Freya, because she's okay, but she's not exactly what I was wanting. I want, um, I really want Sasha. Okay, so the basket is something you craft. It's not something that you cook. Yay! Let's go check this little thing out. It's perfect! Look how pretty it is! Let's see if we can put it on the counter up there. I don't know if you can place anything here. Yes! I love it so much. I'm going to make tons of those. Not right this second, but I am. Let's check out our gyroid over here and plant a new one. These are some new daily tasks that you're going to end up with. A wallopoid. Steaming, <coughs> still steaming, keep watering. Okay, I'm going to pick up this gyroid that looks like a piece of trash, literally, and place this wallopoid and see what it looks like. Oh, that one's interesting. It's very um, quick moving. Where we have this little one that's not. It bounces, and this one kind of bounces around too with the springy arms. Not say I'm dissatisfied with them. Okay. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. <clears throat> I'm going to message my winners of the farm supplies, and I will be back tomorrow night with the DLC. I hope everyone has a great night, and I hope to see you back tomorrow night after we do the DLC or explore the DLC. Um, 
we will probably build the farm on Tripti, which is going to be a little bit bigger of a build. And I think that's what some people are looking for is a bigger farm build. Um, the juniper farm was to get your, really to get your feet in on fitting a small farm into a small space that you have. I hope that you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed exploring the DLC with me. Um, I mean, the free content with me. If you have any questions, please message me or let me know. You can comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to get in on more giveaways, make sure you join my group, Tripty Gaming Lounge. If you would like to go to Dina's Treasure Island from ACNH, I mean, ACNH Shenanigans 21 Plus. I am going, her, her link is going to be posted in Trip D Gaming Lounge for anybody that wants to go um, via her Twitch. Um, she has tons of the new items. I'm willing to bet there's probably some that we just haven't found yet. She's been working tirelessly on it. Um, it's it's awesome. It's going to blow your mind, and I'm not going to tell you anymore because your jaw is going to hit the floor. So, everyone have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow night.